Hi, this is Logan with Lumberjack Tools, and today we're going to talk about the Lock Center Finders. So we have two different size center finders. The small does one to four inch material, and our large center finder does four to eight inch material. So the importance of finding center is for a pure aesthetics look, things look better when they're nice and symmetrical on center. And also from a technical standpoint, it's important because if you're not putting your mortise holes on center, there's a good chance when time comes for assembly, things aren't going to fit right. And uh, center lines will also make it so just your joints are stronger. All right, so the features on the center finders, it, it includes your tool body, the two pegs for helping center, the bubble level, which will make sure that you're holding your tool level as you're making your center lines, a hanging hole, a rubber grommet to hold your golf pencil, and then on the pegs here we have quarter inch increments, and this can be used for a depth gauge to find out how far down your mortise holes are. So these are the packages that either the small or the large center finders will come in, just a simple mailer. And when you open them up, you're gonna have your center finder body. So it would be the small or the large one, two pegs, and a golf pencil. So assembly is really easy. First step is you need to make sure to screw in your peg on the bottom. And the way to tell the bottom is that the bubble level is on the top. So you just, if you don't see the bubble level, you know you're screwing in and it's just a simple right turn thread, turn to the right, screw your pegs in, then the golf pencil goes into the rubber grommet and you want the pointy end going down from the top. So simply put it into the grommet and twist as you put it in and it'll push through and you're ready. All right, so to get started, you'll wanna take your material and clamp it into either a log lock, a vise, something to hold it um, steady as you drew, draw these lines. And next, you'll wanna take a tape measure and measure your material diameter. So that's done on the end of your logs or any wood stock. This is under four inches. So I'm going to use our small center finder because this does one to four inch material. All right, so now to actually use this tool, we wanna first make sure that we get our bubble in the small circle on the level here. So that way we know that we're, we're pretty darn close to level. And now on your material, you wanna come down to where the pencil is contacting. You're still in the center of that bubble. And then you're gonna twist it so that both pegs are touching on either side of the log. And now you're just gonna pull gently down and keep that bubble in the circle. And you'll wanna do a couple passes because your pencil's not gonna initially make a lot of contact. So just some passes. And then you can see here, this line is in the center of the log. And if there's any variations in your log, your log is twist, that line is going to twist with the material. Now with the center line drawn in this example we'd be making holes for a railing. So to, to do our mortise holes we're going to use a self-feed bit. This is a one inch bit and we're going to make multiple or the hole depths are going to vary to show how this depth gauge works. So we'll drill our holes now. And it's really fast. Once you have your center lines marked, all you have to do is measure down your center line to mark your hole spacing. So that center tool really speeds it up. So now we can check our hole depths. Make sure that you've cleared out as many wood chips as you can. <clears throat> and then you take your pegs here and just by setting it in the mortise hole, you can get a quick estimation on which line that's at. And then since these are quarter inch increments, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is an 
inch and three quarters long. You can see at this hole here, just a quick estimate, we've got four rings, so that's an inch long. And then here we have uh, five rings, so inch and a quarter. So just this depth gauge is a quick, quick way to find out how deep your mortise holes are.